Howdy guys, my name is Tom from MTG Radio, and this is a great EDH game. Um, we have three different commanders, one which I'm really scared of. Uh, this guy right here, Joria, she's kind of ridiculous. That's Ember Dagger. Alright, Venom is Fumiko, which is adorable. I am playing Argus Koss. Um and they're playing Experiment Garage. I have these cards, and we like them. So we will not mulligan to seven. So, I hate playing against this deck. I absolutely hate it. Um, I don't know if maybe they're playing... Nope. It's going to be this deck. Alright, so there's a very good possibility we're all going to die on, like, turn... What is this? Four after turn three, turn seven. Um, yeah, that's always a furnace camp. Oh snap! This is gonna be a fun day. All right. Well, let's do this the correct way and start with the uh, Wimpress kites. Cause that's how all decks that are okay. Sunforger uh, is definitely one of the most important cards we could play. It's sad we're losing these ones here, Alina and Arbiter especially, because I think that's going to hurt the Amber Tiger player a lot. But Sunforger, we do have a whole package built around Sunforger, actually. Um, it should be in the deck tech. Uh, watch that after or before the game. Mm. Do it at your own discretion. I know I haven't put out anything recently. Um, I blame college, because I'm allowed to do that. Uh, in reality... Uh, Magic has just taken a back seat recently, but it's awesome, and I couldn't stay away from it forever, so it's back. I'm really hoping to draw Wild Ricochet, just so that I can draw six cards, because Ancestral Visions does target for some reason, and I think that's adorable. And so we should exploit that. Um, if you can't tell, this is a Soldier Tribal deck. Oh no, Soldier Tribal. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, I hope it's a lot of fun. I'm not saying this is the most original deck in the world, because it's not. I am saying that I was very excited that I built it, because I am. Um, so MTG is sort of diverting down a new path. We have the new Commander products coming out. I know I went to the release, so that should date the date a little bit for you guys. Today is the... 22nd, I believe. 22nd of, 22nd of June, 2011. That didn't seem fair. But that's okay. I'll take one. I'm pretty sure he's just going in a circle. If I take four... There we go. Good boy. I agree. I also wish Blue's Hideaway wasn't a useless in Commander. Ooh. Hey, look. A win card. Um... So I want to play this outpost around turn three. And so I'm thinking if I play the outpost now, sorry, play the planes now, not the outpost. And then next turn, I can tap the planes, tap the Wimpress Heights, put in the outpost. Does it have to be untapped? No, I don't. And then just play the field marshal. Uh, this is all soldiers. I think that's okay. So, we get to pass again. There's a nice amount of token making in the deck. Uh, a lot of cards from Eventide are randomly expensive. Uh, this might be a random tangent. I was going through the bots trying to purchase things. And cards are... Cards are expensive, guys. I mean, you probably already know this, especially since they banned the most expensive card in the standard recently. Jace, the Mind Sculptor, who is not better than all... Well, that's just because that song is horrendous. Um, <clears throat> but what can you do? Right now we're just waiting. Waiting on the battlefield to change. See, I don't think... I think rap, as far as a magic concept for singing about it, isn't really that, you know, lofty of a goal. I think you got to aim really high when you try and make songs about magic and I think instead of going with rap which is literally just oh you can write poetry about stuff 
Instead, you should... I'm going to kill that if I get the chance. You should go with... <clears throat> Like actual like ballads. Like imagine if someone's saying a ballad to like a Chroma Angel of Wrath. That'd be awesome. Everyone would like it. I know I would like it. I raised my hand, although you can't see that. I was very happy about it. I think ballads is definitely the next step in evolution. If we can get Patrick Chapin to sing ballads about MTG characters, I think we all win. Yeah, so Venom is just going in a clockwise circle with his attacks, which is a very common thing that players do in order to, like, get away from hate and stuff. I support it. I don't really mind it at all. I mean, I would have been annoyed if he had sacked it that first turn, but to each their own. So, I actually have an experiment cross deck myself as well online, and I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. And it's basically a combo deck with one of the crappiest combos in the... Okay, we got a... Swords. Hmm. I really want a Swords at Joria. Because... Hmm. I think I'm going to tap this for a white. Swords Joria. Play Outpost, sack the planes. This is usually correct. Alright. And pass. And I'm just going to nicely let people know that that's usually correct from my experiences with Joria. She's an absolute beast. Which is true. She's an absolute beast because she spends, suspends like Eldrazi. They come into play on turn 7 for free. Color me scared. Legacy's a lure. Ah, uh, I like this guy already. That's a trend that's been forming in magic circles, I don't know why, where they start tapping out, I guess in stuff like Commander, where they tap out for silly things, as far as I'm concerned. At like the end of their turn, just say, oh look, I don't have anything. And it's kind of like, well, okay. Hmm. I wasn't worried in the first place. Hmm. So back to the Commander decks. Uh, I can't wait for them to hit a line. I, I only bought one because I transferred a lot of my collection to online. I think I've said that a lot. But I have. And so far, it's been an, not an easy transition. It's never going to be an easy transition just because it's, it's money you don't want to spend. Because it's money. I'm a college student. I don't have much of it. But I did get the... <clears throat> not Tineb colors. The Intet colors. Which is Rug. Red, blue, green. And I am... Balls. I am in love with... Oh, wait. This is not as good as I thought it was. Hands of the opponent with the most cards in hand. Oh, that's all the opponents. Um, <clears throat> I'm not in... I am in love with Riku of the Two Reflections. I think that card is awesome. I can't wait to transfer that deck online. I've already started getting cards for it. I got a Prime Time, which is Primeval Titan. Um, I also just drew a Piana Nomad, which is actually kind of cool. So that's what we're going to play. Uh, Piano Nomad for 1, a white, and a white. It's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, whenever she attacks, attacking creatures get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. There's two themes in this deck. Uh, soldiers and giving stuff plus 1, plus 1. Or plus 2, plus 2 in the case of Elish Norn. Or just winning the game. This card should just say win the game on it. Especially in multiplayer games. Again, besides the point. Uh, Piano's really good at just being awesome. And that's something I think everyone likes. Uh, I'm glad he chose green. Because I don't want him to choose blue. There you go. Lee's, yeah, this is the guy I talked to at the beginning of the game. He seemed like a nice enough person. No, yeah, plus one, plus one, and soldiers are the themes. 
and I like it so far. This is the first game I played with it, but I do like it so far. Boom, Adamaro gets huge. And we all wait and see what happens next. The other part about Joria is that even if you stunt Joria's growth, like by exiling or killing her a bunch of times, you can still just play the cards in your hand. And I think that's definitely one of the strengths of the deck itself. Are you just going with the commander again? We're corrupted, consciousing out of Morrow. Oh, snap! That's pretty intense. I feel like I'm taking five next turn. Discarding that stuff. That's pretty good. I've been fooling around with the corrupted conscience. I do like it. I think it's this is target legendary creature gains first strike. Pretty cool. I do like it in EDH just because a lot of people I'm not gonna say they don't not that they don't expect it. It's just that infect doubles the attack of your attacker pretty much. The only problem is if you play it in a deck either without proliferate or without a way to abuse it. As in, I'm not going to play one of my Thraxa Mundar deck because that'd be the only thing with infect on it. So I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to be able to one-shot people with it. How about that? This creature's your opponent's control attack. He's trying to wow. That's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. All right, so... Mm, okay, that's fine. This is another plus one, plus one effect. Go figure. So I can attack with Piana, play an Arid Mesa. I'm going to end up attacking Dar, whatever his name is. Just because I have no one else to attack. I really hope he takes the Furnace Camp and blocks. That would make me a happy person. Piana does pump herself. I always thought this was a girl. I read the books for this set. I swear this was a girl. Um, let's get the Sacred Foundry, maybe. Might as well. Um, are we going to pay two and play the Kaberi Vindicator, or are we just going to play the Field Marshal? Let's think. Hmm. I don't want to pay, don't want to play Vengeant yet. Um, uh, my idea with Vengeant is that I'm going to lock down at tomorrow for as long as I can with Vengeant. And that way the table won't be mad at me for playing it. And at the same time, I'm locking down what would supposedly be the biggest run on the board. I think both of those ideas are great. I will. There is one card in the Legacy product that does annoy me. Alright, let's think. Do I want to take two? Do I just want to play a Field Marshal? Hmm. You know what, let's take two. We're playing EDH. Did this person just quit? That person just quit. How depressing is that, guys? The answer is very depressing. So five five three two one one. Let's play the Pike Master. This guy will be able to get in there faster than that guy. Or we can just start making dudes with, nah, let's just play an actual card. This will also make Adamaru a lot smaller. Which is good. Because I'm assuming his is going to make him smaller and, and continues and continues and continues. Hmm. So we're down one, but we're also down what I would consider as of right now the scariest player. But at the same time, now... I don't know what to expect out of, out of these decks. Like, usually I know all my commanders off the top of my head. Like, I do know them off the top of my head. I just... That was perfect. <clears throat> I'm just not sure what to expect from either of these decks right now. Mono Red is usually a thinly veiled entity for me. And I don't know what to expect from it. Ever. So... That's how that works out. Hmm. 
Oh, Commander Products. A card I really hate that came out of that is this card called Homeward Path. It's a land from the rug deck that I got with Riku. Oh, God. I play a lot of Control Magic effects. I don't know if you've seen them, but if I play Awesome Bombs and all my Control Magic effects are smaller than my Awesome Bombs and they steal your Awesome Bombs, it's like my whole deck is good things. But when you can get it back by tapping a land, that hurts my entire plan. Spitting Hydra. And there's a battlefield with 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters. You can remove one to deal 1 damage to target creature. I've never seen that card before. I also don't have to worry about him trying to activate Spyrock Knoll this turn, which he could have done. So I'm just going to assume that, that card isn't that great. That's under Spyrock Knoll. Hmm. Now, I could attack the red player and be all like, yo, what's up? Which I would never suggest anyone to do because I just sounded really silly there. Or I could play the Vindicator and pass. And play Vindicator, attack. Or I could play the Field Marshal, have a wall of first strikers. I like that idea as well. Field Marshal it is. Alright. I would have liked to have drawn a land there, but no one can complain about O-Ring. Let's see, so I can hit someone for 3 plus... That'd be 5. Huh? Hit someone for 5. That's, that's, that's not 5. That's 5 plus 3. That's going to be 8. I can hit the blue-green player for 8. That seems like a bad idea. I can attack Venom and force him to trade either Adamar or Spitting Hydra. I don't like that idea, so I am just going to attack Piana at him again just because they don't have first strike. We're going to play conservatively with the red-white aggressive deck. We're still slow rolling this Ajani. Um, I do want to get lots more lands, like this many lands. I held out my hands really far for that, just because that will help us win the long game. We do have a nice long game coming up, too, because of Insurrection. This deck does play 37 lands, uh, but it's not like I'm not going to play Kazoldran Outpost. This card is awesome. So, enter the battlefield, sacrifice the planes instead. If you do, put it onto the battlefield. If you don't, you put it into the graveyard. It can add white, or for one and a white, you put a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield. That is awesome. <clears throat> for six... Consecrated Sphinx. Experiment Crash. Alright. So we're going to play Sunforger next turn. So we're going to attack with all our dudes. Because I love me some Sunforger. I love that card. Ugh. So I was talking about a Sunforger package before. A Sunforger is going to allow us to draw some cards with stuff like Wheel of Fortune, because that card isn't banned in EDH, because no one expects anyone to have it. But it's actually like a 1.5 ticket rare on MGGO. And it's a really fun card. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. For four. Here it comes. Is he going to double hit Field Marshal? Shivs and Braze on the Spitting Hydra. That's like a 6-6 six, six flyer. Don't rain, Florida. So, am I going to play the Sunforger, or am I going to play a Johnny Vengeant to tap down Venom? I think I might play the Vengeant. What is Oh, fire breathing. I'm digging seven. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, me. Okay. Hmm. Home to Master Core. Let's think about this. Yeah, I'm definitely playing Vengeance and staying back. Next turn, we can start doing things with Sunforger. Because I don't know if you know this, a Johnny Vengeant is the bomb diggity.
he is. He doesn't cost an amazing amount either, because no one really plays enemy colors in extended or anything like that. So I think we're going to pass. Uh, that Legacy's Allure is going to be able to steal good things soon. So that Molten Tail Massacre that I have isn't going to be doing much right now. The worst part, the, I mean, the best part for the person playing Legacy's Allure, the worst part for someone playing against Legacy's Allure, is that mm, it's not like a control magic effect where if I overring the control magic, no more worrying about it. It's a change control effect. So that's always annoying. Ah, I'm part of the limited, res limited resources clan because that's always a great idea. It actually is. That's not like me playing around. And they've been getting a lot of people joining recently. So it's been kind of bloop, someone joined. Bloop, someone joined. This is pretty. I like this one right here. Experiment Crash, if you don't know what it is, it's two green, green, blue, blue, a 5 7. He has all activated abilities of each other creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. And he taps to put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Uh, Sage of Fables, two and a blue. Uh, whenever you cast a wizard, you get a plus one plus one counter. Two, remove a plus one plus one counter from a creature you control, draw a card. So, there you go. It's a good card. Very good card. Especially in a crotch deck. I have a crotch deck. That's got to go in it now. I didn't even think of that. That's a great idea. Hmm. That's tap. The first counter... Well, the only problem is if you start taking off the counters with Kraj from cards like Sage of Fables, what ends up happening is... No decks? No decks. Uh, the cards you're taking the plus one plus one counters off of kinda go away. Ooh, Twilight Drover. Never a creature token leaves the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter on him, which is kinda cool. So we're gonna keep this guy locked down and I kinda wanna swing with these guys into here or into there just cause then I get to play the Sunforger but that doesn't look like it's happening let's think what should we do then do we play Vindicator and pass? do we O-ring something and pass? no that's incorrect. I think I'm cool. I'm just going to start making two two soldiers and then start attacking with those guys. I'm sorry that this is so slow. The ex experiment crotch guy is going to start taking over soon. He should be at least. He's drawing, what, a card a turn? Not too bad. Or two cards a turn, especially with the cage sun and extra planet lens just pumping out massive amounts of manas. Rack and ruin? What's this? That is awesome. Hey, bro. All of those uh, manas you had? Not there anymore. I'm really glad Sunforger wasn't out right now. How about that? Alright. So that nerfs him a lot. I think that Legacy's Allure might not be coming my way anymore. Which, to be honest, I don't have any good creatures out, so... Meh. Not until I play something like Ourobrask or Elish Norn will my stuff die. I have that feeling. I've got a feeling. That tonight's gonna be a great night. Possibly good. More than likely great. Oh, so... I did want to say... Thank you to all the subscribers... Um, I know I haven't tended this channel in a while, and yet we seem to get a new subscriber every week. That's awesome. Um, that actually really makes me happy. So thank you for subscribing. I'm sorry that I don't put out as much content as I would like to. Uh... I just don't have the time to most of the time. I apologize.
if you do want to see content in the future like this put it in the comments send me a message on YouTube I know I'm I don't like respond to comments a lot but okay so that's not gonna work like he thinks it works that's not the new wording for soldiers that's the old wording for soldiers as in all my soldiers still get plus one plus one which I'm cool with So let's see if he still tries to attack into me that's what it looks like he's feeling like doing is he gonna attack no you're not gonna attack that'd be silly let's see I would really like to draw a land that way I can activate the Windbrist Heights and play Oblivion Ring. That would really help out my situation. Because then I can O-Ring the Experiment Crage, attack in with like Pike Master Piana and a token. They'll all be three threes. Uh, Piana will probably trade with the Simic and the Field Marshal will die. And Sage of Fables will die. I mean, that's if he takes it. It's going to be an interesting situation. So this card, not being cast for a while. So I love Sunforger. I've been talking about it a lot. A lot of people might not. What is this? Deals one damage at the point. Meteor Shower. Deals X plus one damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. So I take one? What? So hoping to reduce them all with that grab kind of failed. Oh my god, I screwed up, lol. I, I like those ones. Oh, he was trying to kill my Johnny. That didn't work out too well. Yeah. Because that was one damage. Rawr. <clears throat> oh. I believe we're talking about Sunforger. So, it's a three costing. The next instant or sorcery you spell can't be countered. That's okay. D cycle. With Overmaster. Hmm. Anyways, Sunforger. Another Wind Brisk Heights for three colorless. Equipment. Equips for three. Equip creature gets plus four plus so. That doesn't seem too great, Tom. Why are you playing it? For red and a white. Unattached Sunforger. Search your library for a red or white instant card with a, with a CMC cost four or less and cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then reshuffle your library. Oh, red or white instant. Huh. I always thought it was red or white instant or sorcery. That's my fault. Hmm. So that's under Windbrisk Heights. It's an awesome card from Lorwyn. Legend I must say Legendary Land. Hideaway Land. Uh, for white and a tap, you might play the exile card without paying its mana cost if you attack with three or more creatures this turn. It's a card that's been around since extended season. I mean, there was a really popular deck in standard called Black White Tokens. It was awesome. It is awesome. Not really played as much anymore. Let's put a soldier into the battlefield, guys. Yes, graft. This is the one thing I hate about the graft ability, is that it triggers on every single trigger. It's kind of annoying after a while. Alright. Let's see. In the Web of War. Not a land. Okay. What should we do? 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 Play the O-Ring. Nuke in the experiment crash. I mean, at least for a, a turn. And then attack into the experiment crash player. That will cause this to be a 5 5, a 3 3, and a 3 3. But that exposes Johnny. He'll die. I don't like that idea at all. I could play O Ring, nuking Atamaru. Doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world. And then have to worry about Experiment Crodge, dude. But he's, what, drawing a card a turn? That doesn't seem too intense. I'm not really worried about that. 
I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to O-ring the Atamaru and then attack him putting out... no that's also wrong. Yeah, I think I'm just going to O-ring the Atamaru. That seems good. Right. Two and a white. O-ring. Random flashes going on outside my dorm. Or, I mean, residence hall. I work in the housing association at my school, so I have to say residence hall instead of dorm. Which everyone knows it as a dorm. So, it's weird. Gonna do that. We are going to keep this. I could nuke the Sage of Fables? What would that do? That would make it so that he can't draw cards anymore. But then it gets killed by the 6-6. Six -six. How do I feel about that? I just like that idea a lot. He's locking down the 6-6 six -six flyer. If I don't do that, I just blew my only way to kill it. So, this is what we're gonna do. Boop. You stay there. And we will pass again. Lack of lands kind of hurting a lot here. Hmm. Some. Why are you putting a plus one plus one counter on my field, Marshall? I mean, thank you, but I don't understand why. He only gets activated abilities, which are tap abilities or abilities with a colon after them. Or before them. I forget. The It's weird. Oh. He's going to make me kill my own guy. That's kind of depressing. I mean, I will. You could also attack the Venom guy over there. Don't understand that one. Cuz. Okay. Gonna give him first strike. That's adorable. Oh, he blocked with a token. Damn it. Come on, guys. Ooh. That's the one where you sacrifice an island. Oh. Sacrifice an untapped island. You get a one, a blue, or you can scry one. Wow, this card is awesome. Soul Foundry. Uh oh. You thought my Johnny Vengeance was scary. How about that guy? Whoa, that guy's actually really good with Experiment Crash. I know this for a fact. I have a Crash deck. I am worried about that guy. I'm going to let him know that. I'm worried about that. Like, comma, a lot. I have a Kraj deck. I know how good that is. Stalking Vengeance! Okay. Sure. I should be playing a Planeswalker. I'm not sure if he meant that um wins a change I'm okay with that <laughs> I'll draw 5 Lightning Helix Oh my god it's Lightning Helix Captain of the Watch spicy Return to Dust also good So who are you swinging that 5-5 five five at Boyo if he dies, he still kills a Johnny. So if he's swinging out a Johnny, a Johnny dies. 
and I don't lose any creatures. That's how that works out. Mm. Oh, the other guy had no cards in hand? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will block that one. Because I'm okay with taking five to a Johnny. All right, first strike damage. I was like, what's going on? So now I have things to worry about, which is depressing. Seriously? Okay. So, evolving wilds. I'm gonna get a planes with that. I could. I guess I'm just going to exile the Soul Foundry and the Shiv's Embrace. Just make it a 4 4. <sighs> Not make me happy. This is also one of those cards you play off of Sunforger, because it's a white instant. So, Return to Dust, two white white, exile target artifact or enchantment. If you cast a spell during your main phase, you can exile two of them. That's what we're doing. Kaboom. This card is great. Uh, we've talked about it on our we talked about it on our podcast a lot just because it's awesome. That's usually a good reason. I'm sadly not making any friends this game. I mean, let's see. If I get a land, I'm going to play Sun Titan, getting back Arid Mesa, maybe. That's not the worst idea in the world. That's if I draw land. If I don't draw land... Hmm... Blumbles. March. That's not a word, but... I'm just confused as to what I'd do. Untapped target creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's pretty good. I mean, it's good for that deck. I'm good in general? No, uh, not really. That's okay. Is he a wizard? He's a wizard! He's also stroking a head tentacle. Is that a beard or a head? That's a head tentacle. So anyways, uh, two and a blue, three, three, graph two, one and a blue, one tap dark creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Simple enough. If I was him, I would just be digging through my deck with that Sage of Fables. Well, let's see what he's up to. He's going to attack his field marshal into me. My field marshal into me, which is always depressing. And the Kraj. Oh my god, Kraj is not attacking me. So, how much do I want that field marshal to stay around? I can bring him back with Sun Titan. Not at all. What is going to end up happening this turn is um, he's going to untap Experiment Kraj a bunch of times. And plus one, plus one counters are going to go everywhere. It's like it's going to be like Oprah in this place. Plus one, plus one counters for everybody. I just threw up my arms. Lightning Dragon. Oh, jam. That card is fun. Like, yeah, it is. Let's see, is he finally going to try and play what's under Spyrock Null? Okay. That's weird. Is that like a challenge? Because none of you guys have flying. You should graft. That's what I say mentally, but I said verbally. 
whenever a graft trigger comes on screen because they come on a lot. So let's think if I end up not drawing anything, I'm just going to leave up mana so that I can both play Lightning Helix and create a token. I think those are good options, personally. If not, I'm going to play a land, play a sun, or I guess I should play a land, play a captain of the watch. That seems better than lay a land, or not, I guess not lay a land, then I probably won't draw on land, then play sun titan, getting back field marshal, and be in all like ker, ker, kerplow. So let's think, if I, I can helix this age of fables. Uh, when it comes back to my turn, that kills his draw engine, which seems kind of decent. I'm not sure if I'm still taking four here. No one's taking anything. Okay. I'm a fan of that. Alright, we got to land. So, Captain of the Watch or Sun Titan. One of these is just so much better than the other. But I really want to nuke the Sage of Fables. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass and just wait one more turn. Alright, my end step. Do things. Damn it. He was too smart. Targeting the crash. Untapping the crash. In response? What's this? Ghost fire. Targeting Vigian, whatever it is. Okay. Responses? Untap the crage. Put a plus one plus one counter on Vigian, whatever his name is. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. He can still spitting Hydra it, which I think is kind of funny. I wonder if he realizes it. Alright, so Ghostfire resolves. Come on. Hydra it. Hydra that thing. Hydra that thing. Oh. Okay. So if he puts another plus one plus one counter, he can go... 1 plus 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1, 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on Sage of Fables. Yeah, which would be a 5-5. Five, five. That's not what I'm looking for. That is a odd attack. I don't understand it at all. You do is only a 6-8. Right. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> so this is where you target... I don't know. Are you taking six? You're not taking six. There you go. Spitting. Stalking. Lightning. Yeah. Spitting and lightning. That's going to be eight damage. Untap your dude. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. Yep. Then are you going to Simic it? Right. I can actually probably goad him into playing the Simic. Uh-oh. Oh. Ha! Oh. I didn't even notice Lightning Dragon at Fire Breathing. I guess that just makes sense, though.
I guess this thing just has a lot of tes text on it for a dragon. I didn't realize this at all. I opened one of these in Urza's block, and right, that's cool. So he's just like, oh well, this is my fault. Let's just kill everything. And something I can get behind. Now I get to kill Sage of Fables while he's tapped out and make a 1 1 creature. And he'll just have two not that decent Simic creatures out. So, there you go. So, 6 9, I mean, 7 9. We have 10 damage there. All right, so what's he gonna? Br who's he gonna brain for ten? Hopefully not me. Uh, I'm talking about Venom, of course, because it's talking vengeance. He's gonna put Kraj in the exiled zone. I mean, command zone. And my deck is doing surprisingly well for just chilling out, relaxing, and acting all cool. So I think next turn we're definitely gonna play the captain. And attack in with a bunch of vigilancing soldiers at I don't know who yet. I'm gonna say experiment Kraj. That way the Venom player will think, Oh, we're on the same team. We're not on the same team. He'll think, Oh, we're on the same team in a similar goal. Let's do this together. And I'll be all like, yo, dude. No. Okay, it's combat damage. Is this my computer bugging out? Whoa, the game has detected an internal error and will attempt to continue. Please report this game ID as a bug. No, I'm record. What in the world is this? Everything is happening. Oh my god. I've never seen this before. What? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. Huh? Whoa, okay, so, I've never seen that happen. And Magic Online just blew up. Oh, wow, it's extra blowing up. Everything is happening. <laughs> Experiment Kraj broke magic. Sorcery was not long enough. Check things. Oh, okay! Calm down. I'm sorry I didn't know which one to click first. Stop. Stop moving forward. Ugh. Okay. That was weird. I think we had that game on lock, though. Both players had zero cards left in hand. It's still happening. This is making me really happy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I swore something. <laughs> this is better than watching a replay. Because <laughs> it's all just going is anyone else seeing this no oh, seriously is anyone else seeing this okay so, our game broke magic for a while. That was adorable. And things are still happening. Is this guy shushing everybody? That's kind of cool. I feel like I shouldn't be touching. I'm just going to not deal with this right now. What's going on? I'm going to press OK. Oh, it broke again. This is crazy. What? <laughs> okay, now come back. Come on now. <sighs> this 
So hopefully, yep, still going. So I'm wondering what happens when we get back to the original game state. So I'm going to keep recording until that happens, and then if by some miracle we're still playing, I think that's awesome. Apparently the uh, Experiment Crash player is no longer here, so there's that possibility that that won't happen. Um, but I'm okay watching this for some reason. I just know not to affect it. I thought that was funny when he attacked, and then I'm going to winds a change. I'm going to return to dust things. Be all like that. Shiv's embrace. Whoop de ta. Check out my creatures. The game should resume momentarily. The game will be restarted from the beginning of the game. Will be completed as a draw. Oh, well, they're trying to resume at the current turn. This is all. Whoa, what are these doing in my hands? What's going on? I don't have a field marshal anymore at this point in the game. This guy isn't alive. It's layering the two games on top of each other. What? I now have two pianas? <laughs> Alright, so one game is trying to catch up to the other game, which has already ended, while our original game has already ended. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh. All right. So when this one ends and that one ends Okay. All right. So the second game is getting back to where we were. Ember Tiger is dead twice. I have multiple cards in my hand. I wonder what happens when I Winds of Change. Alright, time to Winds of Change. Alright, I'm back to my original hand. We're getting back to normalcy. Play Evolving Wilds, get a thing, return to dust. Okay, we're going to do silly attacks, then... More silly attacks. Chill. Experiment Crash, Ghost Fire. Untaps. Attacks, green, and are we starting again? This is a commander rules game. Did you see that? How awesome was that? Oh. Like I still have an O-ring that tomorrow. Oh my gosh. That was really cool. Um so that's the surprise ending to our game. I really hope you enjoyed it that long. One day this kept happening to everyone. This is... Uh, now the games are started. Great. Well, I'm not playing again. So... I'm going to concede. The little rendered 3D dice are still on the battlefield. Concede game. Alright, now watch her. Um, I'm just going to close MTG online. So! Um, welcome to EDH. It breaks the game. Boom. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that wasn't a complete game. I hope you still enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did, for the end at least, just because the end was awesome. And it was all like, kablow. So, 
I'm going to export this and awesome.